I finished. Oh my god, I'm so happy. We bought matching tumblers. Recently in the morning, we go to the nearby park and just sit and read for a while. It's just like 15-20 minutes. And we thought it would be so nice if we also just have breakfast there. So Masa is making breakfast now and I'm going to make coffee in these tumblers. There were two colors to choose from. There was white and there was pink. But the pink was way too pink for me, so I also got a white one and maybe I'll stick some stickers later to say it's mine. Breakfast is omelette and some rice balls and drip coffee. We've been drinking drip recently because we keep getting some from friends but now I think it's actually really delicious. I'm thinking that maybe we should buy more for ourselves. opening my shop tonight. I mentioned before that Japan post rates are increasing this month so I'm a bit worried that I didn't set that up correctly on the shop. I have to make sure that I get everything done before the shop opens. Also because in certain countries like America, Canada and Australia that some of the major countries that my customers are from, I still can't send registered mail to those countries. So for those countries, if you order over a certain amount, I'm going to give only FedEx option. And that's the only option that's available right now. And I know it's going to be too expensive for a lot of people. I, I know that and I'm a little bit worried about it, but I'm also not comfortable with sending high value orders without any tracking number. So that's just the way it has to be right now. And we'll just have to see what the response is tonight. So yeah, I'm just going to double check everything now. just went through it and I feel like I have everything set up but to be honest I still feel so worried that I didn't do it properly just keep getting this feeling that maybe I missed out something but yeah I'm not I'm not gonna think about it anymore I'm just gonna wait till opening time and see what happens oh also I got a Fitbit yeah here it is I've been wanting a health or fitness tracker for a really long time but I couldn't make up my mind because one, I prefer the look of analog watches and I already have a couple of watches that I like to wear. And because if you get a fitness tracker, you have to wear it all the time, right? You have to like commit to one design and to me, that's like too big of a decision to make. Like it, it's just overwhelming. I have this thing where sometimes I just over-research a purchase where I'd look up so many reviews 
through so many videos that in the end I get so overwhelmed that I just don't end up buying it. And to be honest, there's so many things that I thought of buying that I, I just didn't buy because I couldn't make a decision. And I thought that was fine because at the end of the day I save money and I don't really need those things anyway. But actually I waste a lot of time looking up this information. And I read recently that if you overanalyze a decision, you're more likely to regret that decision because you're trying to make like the best choice ever. And then when you do make the choice, you end up second guessing yourself and thinking like, is this really the best or not? Whereas if you just decide to get something pretty good, but not perfect, you're more likely to be happy with your decision because it's not going to be the best, but it's pretty good. And that's what you decided on. So you're just going to be happy with it. And so after reading that, I decided to finally get this watch. And I'm sure if I look up reviews on this watch, I'm going to see something negative about it. And then it's going to freak me out. So I'm not going to look it up. So yeah, that's, that's the long story behind my purchase. <laughs> our time out where the stars forget to shine cityscapes askew stuck inside at noon out where the stars forget to shine how far you'd fall were you to call Hold your breath, it'll all be over soon It's 9pm now, the shop is open I love seeing this view on Shopify You can see who's online right now There's quite a few people in the US Thank you so much everyone I'm so sorry that there's nothing new this time But I hope you still found something that you like Okay, I should post it on my stories as well. Oh my god, I feel I'm so bad at this social media stuff. Okay. <gasps> I love how there's a confetti when you reach the number. Thank you so much if you're watching this and you visited my shop today. I think I'm just gonna stay online and see if anyone runs into any problem. And then I'll go to sleep.
could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open scene Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you To feel the dew on your skin That is how it would begin For summer is for falling in love We could stay out late Until the sun sets past eight And the cotton candy haze Mirrors the warmth of your gaze Raise your glass to mine And as we drink Guys, so we could disregard the thought of ever having to part For summer is for falling in love I've been looking at drip coffee stuff they all look really cute. I was looking at this one online and then the other day when I went to the shopping center, I saw this exact one and I felt like it was fate and I had to get it. <laughs> this brand is Kinto. I have a few of their stuff. They do nice minimal kitchen utensils. What do you call it? It's usually cups and mugs and bottles, but I think they do have other stuff as well. Okay, let's open it. So this is to put the coffee beans, um, there's a measure there. And something that attracted me about this one is that you don't need the paper filter. I think that this, this already filters. And I bought this coffee to try, it sounds really nice, vanilla caramel. And it's already grounded as well. So yeah, let's try it. I just want to say thank you so much everyone who placed an order um, it totally blew my mind since we don't have anything new I just didn't think we would get many orders and I was planning to keep the shop open but actually I think I'm gonna close it for now because well at least till the end of this month Masa is the only one who's packing and I mean, I don't want to overwhelm him with this task, so for now, I'm going to close the shop. Yeah, today is the 20th and I am planning to finish all my exhibition stuff by 28. That means I have 8 more days to work on the exhibition and it makes me nervous to put like a hard deadline on myself, but I think it's a good type of pressure. Yeah, I better get on to it. <laughs> on all my envelopes, um, and then I'm very, very happy I got these. These are 100% recycled envelopes I get them right, or like designed the colors right. I've been selling my last set for about a year now. I am sitting down to work. I just ordered. I feel so stupid. I ran out of packing tapes so I ordered more and because the shipping is like 500 yen which is around 5 bucks I wanted to order 3 or 4 rolls of tape 
but I think I made a mistake and I ended up ordering just one. <laughs> so it came in this big box with just one tape inside. And I paid 500 yen to ship just this one tape. Oh, I feel so stupid. It did come with this really cute pink paper though. I'm gonna reuse this for sure. Oh. so happy I'm so freaking happy and relieved today is the 27th of April and I finished the exhibition is on the 6th of June <laughs> to send my artworks to the gallery I need to go to the art store to buy some tissue paper to wrap the artworks apparently it needs to be acid free so I can't just get it from around here I think so I'll wrap the artworks in the tissue paper and then I'm gonna sandwich them between layers of cardboard and then I'll be able to send it over and I'm done I'm so happy